Hello and welcome to the On the Horizon collaboration. So happy to have you joining in on this and I hope you love this suite as much as we all did in creating our projects for this class. Uh, I am Shanna and I am joining you from Edmonton, Alberta and I am going to show you how to make my On the Horizon metal card. Uh, you'll see it here on the desktop with the stamp set. Um, by now, depending on what order you're watching the videos in, um, you may have seen the products already, but I will go through what I used on my card so that you can create it in your way or exactly how I did it. All right, so let's get started. So we've got the On the Horizon stamp set as part of your supplies. We have the Evening Evergreen ink. We've got Cinnamon Cider ink. You will need a blender brush. Uh, if you mark them in colors um, like I do, you'll need your brown one because we're going to blend with the cinnamon cider. You are going to need the uh, Evening Evergreen um, cardstock for your base, which will be cut at, let me just grab my little pack here, which will be cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter down the middle. And then you're gonna do a little cutoff. So you're gonna fold your card uh, closed like you would normally do. Make sure your opening is on the right side. And you're gonna trim off here a half an inch of cards so that you are left with this front that has this little extra piece taken off because you want to create a little peekaboo for your paper as you can see on this one I've added the strip of paper there just as an interest so that's what you're creating is that little peekaboo part uh, you will then need a basic white cardstock layer for your inside um, that is three and three eighths of an inch by five and one eighths of an inch and you're gonna layer that on a piece of cinnamon cider that is cut at three and a half by five and a quarter. So these two will layer on together to create your inside. And then you are going to take your designer series paper. So this will be, pretend it's your full sheet. I've already cut off the little strip so this is your little strip. This is where this little side is gonna come from. So you're gonna trim that off at um, three quarters of an inch by five and a half. And that's gonna create what you need for that little peekaboo part. And then out of this corner, you will cut your circle. So we'll get to that in just a second. I'll bring that back in. Okay, and then you are going to need a piece of cardstock that is uh, basic white at four by three inches for die cuts. And if you want to do um, a double like I have, I've used a piece that is um, four inches by five and a quarter. So then I can make two cards out of um, the die cuts when I cut them out of my paper. So that's a little trick to do two cards at once. Okay, so for what we need to do, and then of course you need a basic white um, envelope. So here's your basic white envelope. Okay, so what we're gonna do is with our supplies here, so you'll need your blocks as well, you'll need stamp and seal, and you'll also need mini dimensionals, uh, your wink of Stella brush, your um, cut and emboss machine with the plates and your layering circle dies. So that's uh, these ones here. Or circle punches if you still have them. Uh, those are fine too. And then your horizon dies because we're going to use the grass out of there. Okay, so let's get to where we are cutting our pieces. So we're going to bring our designer series paper choice back in here and I'm just gonna kind of place it together so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna slide the card over here. So what we're doing here is we are going to prep the parts that we need for this card. So you'll see here that I cut the circle 
with my layering circle dies and I've got them marked here to show you. So I used this one right here. So the, where the little red tag is, this one for the cutting out of the paper. So I just kind of placed it where I wanted the flowers and such. Um, you could do it off of this corner too if you wanted to, if you just wanted more greenery and not so much of the flowers. Or you can just use the scene as well. But I like these flowers, so that's why I chose what I did. But out of any part of this paper, you can cut a beautiful little scenery. So this, the rest of this paper will not go to waste. So you're going to die cut that circle out. And if you do want to make a second card, you can um, cut another one out as well. So we've got that piece ready. And then, like I said, you're going to trim off your three quarters of an inch off of this side of the paper for your little peekaboo part and trim it down to five and a half inches as well. Okay, so you've got that ready to go. And then you are going to take the scallop circle. So this one right here. And you're going to use your basic white piece and you're going to cut a scallop circle as well as grab your, oh, there, your horizon dies and you're going to take the grass one and you can place it on, I don't know how I did that, there we go, and you'll place it on here as well and then cut your grass. So like I say, if you want to do double cards, you can use a bigger sheet of basic white and then you can get double the amount. So you'll die cut your scallop circle and your grass and you will have those ready to go. Move that out of the way. Okay, so we've got those parts ready. So here they are. We've got our scalloped and we've got our grass. Okay, and you'll do that on your cut and emboss machine. And then we are going to, just reading through the instructions here that I've typed up for you that you'll get as well. Um, so on your scrap piece of paper, you're going to take your little grass and we're going to use the cinnamon cider and our blending brush and we're going to make this grass uh, brown shaded. So it kind of looks like I, I had in mind sort of um, the end of summer where the grass is kind of dry. Don't ask me why I had that in my mind, but <laughs> I will show you some alternative options as well with some different colorings and different papers. Um, so just kind of shade that how you want. If you want the ends a little bit darker, shade those darker. Leave some little white spots if you want and um, just kind of build that up to what you are happy with. I'm quite happy with what I've got there. So then I'm going to use my Wink Stella brush and I'm just going to paint over what I've just done to give it some sparkle because you need sparkle on every card. Am I right? Okay, and then I'm just going to set that aside to dry while we do the other things. Okay, and then we are going to grab our card front. So we've brought back in um, where we've got the peekaboo, and then we are going to get our stamps out. So for this one, we are going to use the grass, the breeze, the relax, enjoy your day, and the birds. So we'll get those set up on our blocks. And ready. I love this set. It's so calming and the papers are just gorgeous. So we'll grab back in our cinnamon cider ink and our evening evergreen ink. Get those ready. And we are going to go ahead with our birds in our evening evergreen. And I'm going to stamp those all down the right hand side of my 
card front and you're gonna just wanna check your birds. There is one that's kind of like flapping his wings downwards. So just make sure your other ones where the, the wings are facing up. So you don't stamp it in the wrong direction. And I'm just gonna, it's just tone on tone. I'm just stamping them down. I probably will cover that up, but it kind of just gives me a reference of where they are. And I'm just gonna open this up so I can get just a few on that corner. So I'll hold this up so you can see. So we've just got those straight down, got some glitter there, um, straight down that edge. And I'm just gonna put a few right there because I don't like that sort of empty hole. So just look, look at it, sort of hold it back and kind of give yourself the landscape to look and uh, see that you've got them and you're happy with where they are. Okay, and then we are going to take our grass in the Evening Evergreen ink as well. And we're gonna kind of lower left hand. So I kind of just did mine right here. And we are going to stamp that right down. And I'm keeping the end of it fairly close to the card's edge so that I have room for my circles to go there um, with the designer paper. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And then we're gonna use the word breathe, the right direction. And uh, just under the grass here, sort of in this area, I did um, first generation and then second generation so that it was lighter. And I'm gonna do that again. And I just kind of offset the words. So now that it's all done, I'll hold it up again. So you can see they're kind of stamped in different um, areas to kind of give it sort of the movement down the uh, card front. And then we are going to grab our inside basic white piece and we're gonna stamp the grass. And I'm just gonna reactivate what's there cause I want it kind of lighter. Here's the inside. And I'm just gonna do it on the bottom corner, just like that. And we'll grab our envelope as well. And we'll do a full stamp ink of green in the corner there, just like that. And then I'm going to clean off my birds because I want to stamp those in cinnamon cider on my envelope or envelope, however you say it. So just in, I'm just drying it off here. So in the cinnamon cider, I just kind of put a couple stamps of birds there on the front of my envelope. Okay, put that aside and then I'm gonna use the relax and enjoy your day. And we're just gonna stamp that in cinnamon cider on the inside as well. And that will take care of the inside part. So that'll layer onto our cinnamon cider cardstock there. All right, so we've got all of our little pieces done, stamped and ready to go. And we'll close up our ink so we do not transfer those to anything else. I don't know how many times I've done that. Stuck the, my palm of my hand in my ink and then put it everywhere. All right, so let's assemble. So we're gonna take our scallop circle and our um, circle cut of our DSP and with stamp and seal, just attach that on the back. If you want to do it um, 3D with your dimensionals, you can do that as well. I just did this as a flat lay on my card though. Okay, we've got that ready. So we can go ahead and look at our placement. So I'm gonna kind of stage it and see. I want it to hang over the edge here where the natural edge of the card would be but we're gonna have that designer paper in there. So I kind of just move it around to where I like it. It's going to cover up just sort of the edge of this grass or you can move it up a little bit and then that grass will be exposed there. So I kind of like right there. So I will attach some adhesive, making sure to leave a little bit of that edge because obviously we don't wanna stick it to that. And then I will put that down flat on the card front. Pretty, eh? 
All right, and then I took my grass, which I'm gonna show you a couple different options right now um, of different ways and stuff you can cut. So this one is just literally going to sit covering your stamped grass on dimensionals just over the edge of your um, circles. Okay, but I'm gonna show you a couple options here. So I cut it out again in white and then I did blending with the green, the evening evergreen. So that kind of gives you a different look as well. And it's been Wink Estellate as well. I found it too light, a little bit too green. So that's kind of why I went with the cinnamon cider. Uh, and I also cut the grass out of the in color shimmer uh, vellum. Let's see if that camera I'm not sure how well the camera will pick that up but I thought that looked pretty too that's in the soft succulent color um, with the bling of course already built in so you won't have to use your Wink of Stella so up to you what you want to do but um, for my card design I did the cinnamon cider because I like the look of that okay so before I attach this I'm just gonna flick some Wink of Stella on to my card front just to give it a bit more bling. So really you're just making sure it, the uh, chamber is full of your Wink of Stella and just flicking the end onto the lid. And it just gives you little speckles. I, I don't know how well the camera will pick that up, but um, gives you some little speckles of bling there. So on the back of my grass, I'm just going to apply a couple dimensionals. And what I did was I cut one of the minis down to get it into the area, sort of those bigger areas. Let me get it stuck down and then I can hold it up. So I cut it in half and then I kind of stuck it into, oops, where did it go? They get pretty tiny and pretty finicky. If you want to use just a glue dot, you can do that as well. I don't know where, oh, it's stuck to my finger. <laughs> Silly. All right, there we go. So I just used the three. So I used one mini one and then I cut the other one down and put it into those bigger layers. Um, you can use as many as you like. You can glue it down flat. I like the dimension and I'm actually just gonna stick one more here. Just, I don't know, because. And then we'll peel off those backings. And we will put this on the front. So like I say, you're just gonna kinda overlay it over that grass that you stamped at the base. I'll hold it up again so you can see. And then lay it straight across. Pretty, eh? It's a very simple card, but it's got a lot of to it. So before we put the pebbles on, like I did on this um, final card, um, we're just going to put our inside together because it'll be easier to not have that extra dimension there. So we'll just apply some seal to our DSP strip and I'm just going to put it, I left a tiny little bit of an edge of the green evening evergreen there to sort of create a little mat to that um, designer series paper as well. I just like the look. If you want to put it flat to the edge, you can do that too. And if you didn't trim it down right, I just sort of cleaned up that little edge. I had a little bit sticking over. So I just like that it creates a little bit of a matte edge there, but it's your preference to what you want to do. And then we'll layer our basic white stamped part here to our cinnamon cider and then mat that of course as well. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and apply this to the inside. I just rolled that with my finger. Um, tip is to use your silicone mat. I just didn't bring it over here to where I was filming. so. I just use my finger, but silicone mat, craft mat is a great investment at 825 for advancing your stamping seal. So that is the card inside.
So I've just left the layer. Um, it doesn't stick out to in, in, impede on that um, designer series paper. So uh, it finishes it off just beautifully, I think. You could also use basic border dies and cut sort of a different border into that um, to kind of jazz it up a little bit. Um, they've got some great corner or some ruffled edges, um, some great ones in that basic border die set as well. So if that floats your boat, you can do that as well. You could also um, sort of jazz it up a bit with a little bit of linen thread um, in a bow or something. We can tie a quick bow here and I'll show you just how that changes it. I love my linen thread. It's so natural and just easy to embellish. But I think these pebbles that they have introduced in the new catalog are just a fantastic accent. And you'll see in a minute when we put those on. But if you wanted to add a little bow right there, sort of right there, you can, your choice. But we are gonna put these fantabulous pebbles on. So they come in cinnamon cider um, and a dark and a light gray. So they're super fun. And I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool and I'm going to grab um, a sort of flat cinnamon cider one. And I'm kind of gonna use the grass as my sort of buffer of where I'm going to stop when I put these. And they come in all these different shapes and sizes. So they're kind of hard to get off of here. Actually, I'm gonna use the little spatula end here to lift it and then grab it. That's a smart idea. Eh? And then kind of layer that one there. So I've got the two sort of just on that grass line is sort of where I was using as my buffer point. And then, oops. I love this take your pick tool. It's so easy to pick up your little embellishments and put them down. If you remember to bring it to where you're working. I work in two different areas in my craft room, so it's usually in my creating area and not my videoing area. So here I say that it works really well and then I'm struggling. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, eh? They seem to be, I don't know, this package, I had another one. This is my second package, so. Um, Oops, I ran away on the air. The rocks are running. They're tumbling away. Um, oh my goodness, here we go. So you can kind of just move it around. The little spatula helps you move it around to where you want it. So like I say, they come in all these fun different sizes and uh, just the natural colors. And then there's also the sea glass ones as well. So you could do the sea glass too. Um, so I've just put five of those on the front and just finished that off. And I think it looks beautiful. If you wanted to add more sort of down here to give it a little more oomph, you could definitely do that. So that is my card. I hope you enjoyed. And then our envelope, obviously. And uh, I hope that you enjoy the rest of the projects and what the other ladies have created. And thank you so much for uh, joining in on this collaboration. It was a lot of fun to do. And uh, take care. Paper hugs. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.